I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but God put this right here on my heart and I just want to be obedient and share it with you. God wants you to stop worrying and stressing. Stop trying to figure out what only God can work out. Do you realize God been working miracles way before you were born? So stressing about it and worrying yourself, like, come on now, worrying is like worshiping the problem. Nah, we ain't going to worry, man. Why? God is fighting the battles. Don't worry about tomorrow. God is already in your tomorrow. He's already in your five o'clock today, your four o'clock today, right? God, all he's already ahead of you. So you have no reason to really worry today because God doesn't want us to worry. The Bible says to cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you. That means God is saying to Marcus, whatever is concerning you, like no matter how little that you feel it is, give it to me. And see me sometimes throughout the day, if I find myself thinking or overthinking or worrying about a situation, that's when the Lord remind me, DeMarcus, that's what I'm here for. Give me all of that. Let me ask you a question. Would you walk around with a 50 pound backpack every single day of your life? In the natural, we wouldn't do that because we would say, nah, that I hurt my back or nah, that's not wise. You know, you know what I mean? We, we wouldn't do that. So why when it comes to worry? We are comfortable feeling oppressed, suppressed, depressed. We, we, we are comfortable carrying a heavy load every day and harboring all, all, this, all this worry when we can freely give it to God. When he tells us to cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. So today, look, hey, we're not going to overthink. We ain't going to overthink today. We're going we gonna to trust God. You got me? Because God is undefeated and he's on your side. Whatever you're dealing with, God going to get you through it, man. You see, peace is not the absence of a storm. No, peace is the presence of God in the situation with you. Do you remember in, I believe it's Daniel, I think Daniel chapter 3, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Long story short, they were, they were, the king ordered them to get thrown into the fire because they wouldn't bow down and worship the king. They basically were saying, we only worship God. We're not going to bow down to you. So the king tried to make an example out of them. And he ordered his strong men to, uh, to bind them up, meaning tie them up, hands and feet, and throw them into the fiery furnace. And so uh, when they threw them in there, the king, after that, the king looked around. The king said, hold on. He said, I thought I threw three men in the fire. And old boy on side of him was like, yeah, you did. You threw three of them in there. He said, I see four people in it. <laughs> Jesus, had, Jesus had to got into the situation with him. Man. He said, I see a fourth man in the fire walking around unbound, unharmed. Listen to me. God had got into that situation with them. And the Bible says not a hair on their head was harmed, meaning they ain't even look like they was in the fire. So what does that tell us? God want to get into your situation with you, man. And he want to show himself to you. Peace is not the absence of the fire. It's not the absence of a storm. It's the presence of God in the situation with you. Peace is not something, it's someone. You feel me? I got a question for you real quick. I'll leave you with this right here. What do you call water? That's called H2O, right? Here's what H2O means. Two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Combined, it makes what? H2O. You with me? Got me. This is water. H2O in a liquid form. Say it with me. Say liquid. That's all I'm Hey, yeah, man. You participated. They appreciate you, man. This is in a liquid form. Still H2O, right? Cool. What this is. If you put water into a freezer... Right. And you let it freeze overnight. What's going to happen? It's going to turn into what? Good job. It's going to turn into ice. Is ice a liquid form or is it a solid? There you go. Man, you smart, man. Yeah, ice is a solid. 
it's still H2O, right? So we got it in the liquid form. We got it in the solid form. Watch this. What happens when you boil water? Can you see my steam coming up? You got to look real close right there. So look, <laughs> if you put H2O in a pot and you boil it, what, what that's called? That's steam. Man, who put that on my wall back there, man? Man, what this is, man? You put that on there? Duct tape? Oh, I know why you put... Because God, he going to stick with you. The Bible says he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He got me. He's with you no matter what situation you're in. You got the liquid form. You got the solid form. And then right here, you got gas or you got the steam. Think about it. Three in one. H2O is three in one. God is three in one. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And it don't matter what your situation is, God can get into that situation. Which You're going through this? <laughs> he specializes in that. You're going through this? He specializes in that. You're going through this? He specializes in that. Even this bottle. If this thing wasn't shaped like a cylinder, if it was shaped like a star, and you pour water into it, what water going to do? It's going to take the form and the fashion of the bottle. God specializes, man, in what you going through. So why would we not trust him? Why would we not give him all of our cares? Why would we not give him everything and choose to walk like today in our freedom? God wants you to walk in peace today. You have no reason to be fearful, but every reason to be faithful because God is on your side. He's three in one, man. He three and one, man. He undefeated, dog. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the words. God is always with me. Because that's right. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. And listen, no matter who it separates you from or identifies you with, always choose to go with God. Because where God guides, God provides. If it's God's will, then it's God's bill. Go with God, man. He gave you your own fingerprint. He created you. Why would you not surrender and go with him, man? We got to be silly to try to go against God. What, you going to go with the devil? Come on, man. Is you serious, homie? <laughs> Let's go with God, man. He loves you, all right? Be sure to already copy my 31 day devotion. I'm going to put it right here. Link is in the description box. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.